finished it. What is that? It's a portal cartoon gun. There's no way this is a cartoon portal. You should test it. If I put my hand through it, it turns into a cartoon? Legally, I can't answer that question. Have you even tested this? You should try it. Here goes nothing. My hand! It's a cartoon! See, I knew it would... I, I told you it would work. This was awesome, but my hands... Thanks for testing it. And now here is the tutorial. So inside of Final Cut Pro, I have the video clip laid out. I put my hand through the, the portal. I'm surprised it turns into a cartoon. And then the second shot where I put my hand up and I realize it's also a cartoon. So to start off, I'm going to hold down Option and I'm going to drag this clip in the air. So now I have a duplicate of it. The first effect that I'm going to work on is the box right here. So clicking on the video clip, I'm going to activate a magnetic mask. And I'm just going to highlight the full box. Put on option to remove uh, all the spots around it. it. Looks good enough. Now hit analyze. So looking through here real quick, you can see that the box is fully highlighted. So now I'm going to activate the mask. The effect I'm going to use is by the Final Cut Pro and it's called Saber. It's a really cool effect and it's actually free. It's under the pay what you want. So you can hit zero and download it for free. Or if you want, you can pay something and download it. But it's what gives that cool laser effect. So I'm going to drag it over to the video clip. And I have a lot of really cool settings that you can use here. I like to switch this to outside only. So now you can see it's moving around like crazy around the box. I'm going to move the width up a little bit. And one of my favorite things is that it has an offset. So you're able to activate it to start moving. So I'm going to wait till my hand's about to start to approach. And as it gets close, it's so about right here. I'm going to hit space, play it, and pause real quick. And now on the offset, I'm going to hit keyframe. And then going back to the beginning, I'm going to bring the offset down so it looks like it starts to activate it. So that's for the first clip. I'm now going to put on option and move the uh, duplicate the clip again to go above. This time I'm only going to add the mask to my hand. So clicking my hand and then making sure nothing else is selected. Click Analyze. This is going to be going above the other clip, which is why I didn't mind that the other one was also had my hand in the mask. As you can see, uh, the uh, mask does incredible. I got my hand perfectly. So once you activate it, you now have a clean plate around the hand. And this is where you're able to actually start adding in the cartoon effect. So I like to use Comic Ink. And you got you get several different options. So I can go color. You can go gray. And then you can also go the original black and white. So I like to have it right as it starts to go through that the cartoon effect starts working. So I'm going to hit Command B and Delete. And I'm going to change this to color. Another cool thing, I'm going to hold down Option and uh, duplicate this one again. And then this time, I'm going to add the Saber effect. I can remove the comic ink. On the Saber effect, I'm going to crank the width up. I'm going to have it go inside only. So this way, I'm going to move it forward just a little bit. I'm going to bring 
the width down to zero. Hit keyframe. Looks like it only goes down to one. And then bring it back up to 27. And so I'm going to do the same thing with the opacity. Keyframe it at 100. Go over to where it calms down and then bring the opacity down to zero. Okay, so actually, I'm going to go ahead and invert this mask. As the hand goes through, it looks like it opened through the portal. And that's the main thing for that effect. You can then start to go in and just add a bunch of things. If you look at the original, if I look at my the original one I did, I actually made the box change colors and start shaking. And to do that, I just did the same thing. Uh, I just highlighted the box and I went over to here. Uh, at the colors, I hit keyframe at zero and I just moved the color around a bunch. And then I also added the earthquake effect, which is just right here in your effects. And then I keyframed from the beginning of zero all the way up throughout the clip. But I felt like it just ended up being too much, so I went ahead and removed it. Now for the second effect, it's a lot easier. So I just went to right as my hand moves. Uh, hold on, option, move the clip up. It's around the middle of the clip. Add the magnetic mask. Thankfully, my arm, there's a line right there, so it makes it pretty easy for the mask to be able to follow. Click Analyze. And then right here, it, it has a little bit of trouble. So I just went ahead and do the subtract. And then just go through frame by frame at the very beginning and delete any extra. There we go. We now have the effect. And then it's just applying the same effects. So comic, comic ink and then adding the color one. And then I also added the saber effect. Drop the width just a little bit. And then do outside. And then on the original one, I went ahead and right as, right as I'm about to, right as I notice, hit command B, command B again. And I just changed it from color to black and white. And then I also turned up the saber effect a lot on this one. And now to get my face to glow, I hit Command B underneath the frame, the clip underneath it. Option to duplicate it, move it above, and adding the mask. I went ahead and just got a random, like just random parts of my face. And since it's random, it, it doesn't need to be uh, perfect or anything. But you do want to try to have it. Uh, be able to track part of your face. So I went ahead and just did a little bit of it. Right, there we go. And now going to the color board, I just added a bright blue color. Doesn't have to match perfectly. And then on the feather, just moved it down. And then I turned the opacity down to make it look like it, it's just shining off of my hand. That was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know other effects that you'd like to learn and other videos you'd like to see. And thank you so much for watching.